hey guys welcome back again to another video that you guys are expecting so um i did not know that most of you guys are actually turn up like this and all of that because the first video i posted i posted the like currently now i have five countries that are affordable for like jackpot on a budget for students and family two is for family and tv is for single right yes i have five now so when i posted that first if you guys watched the first video you guys first video i was talking like for students for singles and all of that and then when i kept making research i never people actually turn up like this so now um you because at first i was thinking that oh it's just one country then you just apply in person but now i have many countries and i have like and and again these countries how i choose these countries for internet client is your status if you're single if you're married because you want to study cost like that right and that's because like i said five of this con out of I have five countries currently that is jackpot on the budget that is relating to that amount that i told you guys two is favorable for family the other two is tv is not favorable like if you're a single person you only you only learn i transfer it to this single one and that's because bringing your family here eh, is hard so you just go and study come back to your house but if you're a family maybe your husband you want to go for or your wife you want to bring your family these two countries they allow you to bring your family your family has to apply for study permits i hope you understand that <laughs> yeah then same weapon vessel so i actually assign excuse me clients according to their condition according to their status for example if you're a single person i'll say study this course here if you're a married person i want to study one course for example if you want to, if somebody wants to study pharmacy the first question i will ask you is i have like two of these countries that you can study pharmacy at a very affordable price the first question i will ask you is are you single or you are married if you say you are single baby if you say you are married baby but then you still study the same course but because this one will favor you because you're a married person you can bring your family along why does this person favor you because you're a single person you cannot bring your family along i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so when you're coming i ask you are you married are you single which course are you studying and of course the course you want to study as well i look at the country because there are some, some of these countries if you want to study one course i say no don't go to this country because when you get this would you my book this thing like that the other thing that i factor in again is there are some of these countries like i said two of these countries that is family oriented that if you have a child if you have children you can get help easily and you can get someone to stay with your child like maybe like how will i say it nanny eh, all this cost of a child helping you this thing like it's family friendly cost of um children education is not expensive and um, cost of nanny or this thing is not expensive uh -huh. you understand you mustn't check here mm -hmm. so it's variable so as that when i'm making this video like i said i'm currently in school but the school is going into session we go on the school is ending soon i mean the session is ending soon that's the english the session is ending soon right so i have enough time to do this and me i'm not resuming till february my school resumes february after the semester is ending um second semester is starting by february in fact like middle of february it's just more like march so i have time to do admission so what i now plan is right because when i posted the video i was not expecting this result and all of that so what i now plan is i'll be traveling to these countries to apply for you guys in person i'm not to go back to cover any of all these countries on the application just be like i don't know so in-person application is better so what i now plan is depending on the highest that i get for example let's say for family country i got five applicants for single country i got two applicants for this one i got so the one that i get the highest applicant that's when i will start with then i'll go there in person to apply in person get your admission letter try and get your accommodation once that one is set to be fine i'll fly to the next one just like i said in that first video that i want to do this myself and do it myself i don't want the situation where you say mm, one agent can you come he gave one course he gave one house he gave one accommodation this thing so let's say for example the first country i applied to maybe i have um two singles 
that is coming in there. So I make sure to apply for visa around the time that both of you will come. So now when you come, I'll just come and do the airport pick up for you. Pick up up to the airport to the place, then I'll fly back like that. So I prefer to get that this thing. Also, another benefit of this is for accommodation. You guys know I keep stressing on this accommodation issue. For accommodation session, it's not as if there are no accommodation, so but looking at the standards of the accommodation and all of that, right? Because in as much as I'm just doing admission, also because I'm an accommodation, it's not make sense as just putting in a, an accommodation that you not like. If you've been to these countries, you know, sometimes their hostel accommodation can be so messed up, like you understand. So you really have to have somebody that is there to help you to pinpoint where ah, so you can stay here, that kind of thing. So I'm really particular about accommodation. I used to say, me, when I know if you stay, my clients cannot stay there because I don't want it to be shaping for me. That will be tough. You I don't want that situation. That's why I'll be doing this myself. Do you understand? So if I'm applying in person, let's say I got the in one of those countries, I get like maybe TV singles or five people that are going to that country that are applying to similar course, right? Going to that country. I can help you get, guys get a TV bedroom apartment. Then you people will share it and share the money. Do you understand? Or get the appointment apartment uh, another thing again is it should be a good negotiation for abby with the landlord or something like that you understand so it's easier for accommodation and another thing is if you're if you're living with your fellow nigerians depending if you want or not you can share things together cook together take um do can you connect that together and all of that like i said they are nigerians in these countries but they are not nice makers they will never put on their profile in these countries and yeah, they don't make noise like that. And if you to come, to come with a bearing light, come over here. Eh? If you can, you come, can you come. So, um, also, that's another thing. And again, another reason I'll be doing in person application is because some of the students I got, they are transfer students. I know for transfer students, okay, in order of a job, uh, accept entry this year, get this exemption. For transfer students, you have to be there. Almost like in person to talk to the HOD. Just like I've said in my videos, I prefer meeting the HOD of this department directly. You guys know I told you that I've had the experience of transfer. Therapy is admission team that gave me transfer this thing ahead. So that maybe I say they say okay, you can transfer to this year. You come in person, HOD will say ah, you know have you. I be doing with say ah, you will let You understand? So I prefer in person application. I go there in person. This person wants to take transfer. This person is applying. What do they need? Hear directly from the HOD from the team. So when you come in person, they will not come and say, Please, Ibo, look, Bawale, I do not know about you or anything like that. So, then like I said, this particular package, um, I'll be doing this myself. And like I said, we have almost three months holiday. The semester is, let me just say, the semester has ended. So, almost three months holiday. I don't have anything to do. Just as I say, instead of me sitting at home, I can just use to be flying up and down and be applying for you guys. I just like is this thing. Also, another thing I'll say is yeah. So this one is for January intake. And another thing I'll say is these countries were well, once to Tiburuku. If you know you are coming by January, make sure you apply now. I know that some of you will be like, oh, she just want people to come. Whether you come, whether you not come. Oh no, and I will hit you pay, I be calling pay. So, you know, so it's not a situation where you will come late. Maybe, you, like I said, this is January intake. When you're supposed to resume January, you're going to come in February. What my role is, do you know? Because they used to do um, all this, uh, they were in June. to do. Imagine, you can so you can be so handsome. You can be so handsome, you can be so handsome. You can be so Don't call my name, don't be so friend. So, if you know you're planning for January intake, start your application now and depending on the school there are some schools that are starting first week january second week january third week january like my school now there is only february so if i plan to my school you have time my school is applying like middle of february in fact like they are starting like march that's when me my own school is resume their own intake next year <laughs> but other schools they have First week in January, second week in January, third week in the So depending on your school, to the initial letter to be so try as much as you can to apply as early as you can get your admission. And like I said, I stressed on accommodation too. Pack your bags, start coming. Right? Don't wait till January. And again, you know when you come, there are things you have to do as a foreigner. You have to do 
um your registration you have to do your you know all those submitting documents all these departments they have to do you have to do your medicals and all of those things right so that is i would advise you come like december and again it's, it's good for you to come earlier so you guys you guys you familiarize yourself with the place know where to do this depending no way to do this, no idea. So it don't make sense. You come this week, start going to school. All this advice that I'm giving me myself, I had not use it. Hey, me gamble with zones late. They wanted to enroll me to next intake. Ha, we are will function you the why me. I said no, that this intake I did. They're like, ha, you will fail this semester. Say you go pay. I said leave on. Now this intake I won't join. So me, I just the advice you but me. I, 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 I insisted on my intake. So depending to bash yeah, we will but this only late was a whole lot of work. That I had to do a lot of mental work if you can do it, and again, depending on your school, my school because when you had some schools, they will not allow you today. You cannot join, you've come late, uh -huh. so depending like that. And also, another thing again is visa delay the documents, the requirements, and all of that, right? It's not visa that will come in under this thing. So, if you want to resume by go for January intake make sure you start your application now and so that then like you should come and apply maybe i say for example i went to one of those countries i went to apply to people that have sent their documents right after then that's when you, you are not coming thinking that me i'll book flight and fly there again you wait for the next people that is coming you know? uh -huh. so come now so that the flight money will make sense to me that oh you're applying for this amount of people you're going in person not like people should be coming one one the way you will pay extra mm -hmm. so also regarding my payments regarding my agency fee after the my agency fee that will charge you and after you how much it includes what it includes includes your admission letter application letter visa fee conversion the verification of your documents like your international passport you have to take it to their courts for verification for all those legalization all those things everything is inclusive so the only money you are paying and then it's inclusive of the airport pickup, everything is look for accommodation, everything is inclusive in that two million era. So you can pay your first deposit one million before your other deposit. But if you don't complete your payments, how blow those details from you. You understand? So if you pay your initial deposit, because you cannot pay deposits, then when you pay your initial deposit, when your admission letter is out, you can pay your balance. Because I will not use my money to fly today to come play for you. I'm about me so story. Call it work. Which other thing? Like, like I said, I have five countries now. What I do to my client is tell me the countries that you do not like. I will not tell you the name. Like I said, the Nigerians that are here, they are not making noise. Everybody in fits yes, See, if you come, if you go to any, come or go to any of these countries, you will not see any Nigerian. People will just be telling you that, oh, they are Nigerians, they are like, well, I will even also do. You will not see them in person. They don't make noise here. And that's because Nigerians here, they never cast. They never do bad things. Like Nigerians in this country. So don't come here or to these countries and start doing pain, 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 pain. Uh -huh. So, now I don't put them for the public domain. Mm -hmm. So, as I they chew them, you said they chew them. Mm -hmm. So, which other thing do I want to say? And yeah, so they show them like that. But these countries, the only people that will come to these countries, eh, and they will complain. There are people that have spiritual problem because this country is one billion percent better than better than your country. She peace of mind, didn't she? This thing, ah, oh, good. I'll still make more videos regarding that, but this admission thing, just admission. No. That's why I'm telling you that I'm the one that is doing this package myself. Any, any that I'm using my hands. And the good thing about this country is that they're English speaking country. Like you can speak English, they should hear, but sometimes you have to twist your voice. How? Like you know, when you're talking to somebody that is not Nigerian, only but you might twist that way, but they understand English. They have their local language as well, but majority are English speakers. Yeah, like that. Don't you that thing? So if you know you're interested, make sure you send me an email, make sure you send me a DM. I cannot wait to have you guys on board. If you don't know where the video started, it started from um 700 per year school for non-medical students. I have TV 50, I have 500, I have 900, I have 1000 USD. I'll make some videos on that. So and if you feel like 
Me feel so much. Why are you charge? She is your fellow Nigerian that found these countries, came here and kept quiet. It's not your fellow Nigerian. You need to know why you have big money and come and enjoy life. Imagine yourself. I kept quiet. Uh, looking at each other. Which one is better? Just like how your fellow Nigerians say. When I say, ha, I see one good thing. Come and shop life here. Come on, here you come. Here you come. Please go online and go and look for the country yourself. So, peace out. So, guys, that will be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.